Hello and welcome to JF's lesson on constructing Bornhaber graphs. So, uh, what we were talking about before uh, in Lattice Enthalpy was that, well, was the process on how two atoms fall in love. And obviously, we can find out uh, what the order is by looking back in your book, but let's have a look uh, very quickly. So, we've got enthalpy change of formation that's like the overall thing that's what we usually try to find out when we do all of this process underneath it so we've got the enthalpy change of atomization uh, usually what I like to do I like to do the atom well okay I'm not an atom but I, I like to do I like to organize the information so we have the atomization first and then we've got ionization, and then we've got electron affinity. Sometimes in the exam, they may give you atomization, ionization, and then atomization again. So, because sometimes they like to group things in order of, um, of elements. So we would have, yeah, okay, I'm not going to go bubbling on like that. So, we've got uh, atomization, then ionization, then electron affinity, then that is enthalpy. So, we're going to portray that in a graph that somehow looks like this. So, we have got... Oops, 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 sorry. Yeah, so we have got this experimental data over here all nicely laid out for you. This is also on page 170 of the book. So, we've got enthalpy change of formation, uh, atomization, ionization energy, atomization, electron affinity. I've been very generous as well uh, by putting the equation down because sometimes in the exam they do not even put this down so you have got to learn how to do it so let's start with enthalpy change or formation the first rule of drawing a bon bar cycle graph is to not start at the bottom but to start three quarters down so let's start with enthalpy change or formation let's start on zero energy over here and what I like to do is to write the equation down on the graph, um, on the line itself. Some people like to do it next to the line. I mean, this doesn't really matter. So, we have got... Sorry, that's a lot of talking. Um, so, we have got, on zero energy, the formation. And we have started with Cs as a gas plus half Cl2 as a gas. Okay, and we are forming, we are forming CSCL as a solid. What you should do is to write down the enthalpy change on the arrow, or next to the arrow. So that would be 400, minus 435 kilojoules per mole. So, we have sorted that okay it is minus so we do need to go down think of, think of this as a number line so the more positive numbers are up here the more negative numbers are down there so seeing as this is negative we need to go down we're at the bottom this is the bottom now okay because this is what we are forming anyway so what's the next thing that we need to do we need to atomize cs so, as you can see here, the enthalpy change is positive, so we are going to go up. Okay, it doesn't matter how, how high you go up. I mean, this is plus 79, so I should technically be going up a little bit, but... Uh, but I mean, it does matter, but then it doesn't matter. So, here we go. I've atomized... Why have I done that? Sorry, that's supposed to be a, that's supposed to be a solid... So that's supposed to be CS, CS gas <laughs> plus half Cl2. So I've atomized that. And then the change here would be plus 79 kilojoules per mole. And then we're going to go up again because we are... Uh, because, because we're going to ionize um, cesium now. So let's ionize it. Okay, I mean we can, uh, we can atomize chlorine if we wanted to. Uh, so let's let's just let's just ionize CS. So if we ionize it, that'll make CS plus gas. 
Remember, state symbols are very important in von Haber cycles and lattice enthalpy, very important. Plus one half Cl2 gas, plus that electron that we've just lost over here. And that over there is plus 376 kilojoules per mole. Okay, I'll tell you that, well actually, okay, let's, I'm not gonna tell you. So we're going to, uh, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. So we are going to atomize Cl now, we're gonna atomize it. I mean, even though you might be thinking, well, it's already a gas, but this is a, this is a chlorine, this is chlorine gas, we need to change it into chloride ions. But first, it needs to be Cl by itself, not Cl2. Because, yeah, you might be thinking what's the difference, but there is a difference. So, let's atomize Cl2, or half of it, to make Cs plus, plus Cl, plus E minus. Again, state symbols. And that would be plus 121 kilojoules per mole. Electron affinity, uh, that sounds wrong. Electron affinity is minus, so we do need to go down because chlorine is now gaining an electron, and as that happens, seeing as that is bond forming, and seeing as that is an exothermic process, we're gonna go down to make, oops, to make CS plus, it's a gas, plus the chloride ion, okay, and um, gas as well. These two will join together in the lattice enthalpy rea um, reaction, uh, what, sorry, <laughs> uh, and it will form CSCL as a solid. Okay, sometimes, especially in the exams, they will ask you what this number is, and we have got to find out what it is by adding all of these numbers together because all these numbers from where the beginning of my red dots is to the end of it all of this I know this is very messy I know but all of all of this will be equal to this I know it's very astonishing, even though the arrow doesn't look uh, very big, but all of that, all of that red arrow will equal to this, believe it or not. So let's say, I'm gonna quickly do, I'm gonna quickly do that for you. So we're gonna be, we're gonna do minus 433 equals to plus 79, plus 376, plus 121, minus 346, plus x, because we don't know what this is, or plus question mark, it depends, I'll, I'll use question mark. So, sorry about that, so if we add all of this together, it makes, I'm going to add that very quickly, it would make plus 230. So plus 230 plus that question mark or the delta H of that is enthalpy should equal this. So we need to ask ourselves what number do we need to add to 230 to make minus 433. One way I like to do it, I like to move this over. Yep, I like to move it over or I like to minus 230 on both sides, this is this is maths, guys. I mean, all of F three two five is just maths. So the question mark would equal because if we minus two hundred thirty on both sides, minus two hundred thirty, that would equal. I'm going to do this as well. That would equal minus six hundred and sixty three kilojoules per mole. So lattice enthalpy, the delta H of lattice enthalpy will equal minus 663 kilojoules per mole. Now if we double check it, if we add up all the all of the numbers in the arrow, it should equal to minus 433. So that is it for lattice enthalpy.